Welcome back. Engineers in Kenya's University of Nairobi have built the country's first satellite due to be launched in two months. The 10 centimeter cube satellite, described as a nano satellite, was supported by Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. According to reports, Japan provided the $1 million funding and the platform for construction. Government sources say the satellites will be used to observe farming trends and monitor the country's coastline. It will be sent to the International Space Station in March and then launched into action by a robotic arm a month later. And over 60,000 people from the Central African Republic have fled across the Ubangi and Momo rivers to neighboring Democratic Republic of Congo since fighting erupted in May between rival armed groups. Agencies say the crisis remains the most underfunded, underfunded in the world and have appealed for $209 million to fund refugee response programs. Jude Elizumi and his friends are going downstream along River Obangi in the Democratic Republic of Congo. They spend most of their time fishing after being forced to flee their homes in the Central African Republic. They are among over 60,000 refugees who fled across this stretch of water in dugout canoes since fighting between armed groups erupted in May. The men fend for their families by fishing on the river and later sell their catch in refugee settlements. The women work as casual laborers, tilling land for local farmers and earning about 30 U.S. cents a day. But Congo is struggling with its own displacement situation. Conflict forced at least 1.5 million people to flee their homes within the country last year, more than triple the number uprooted within Syria and five times the number within Iraq. The UN Refugee Agency is still registering new arrivals. Whilst the UNHCR provides relief items and helps drill wells to reduce waterborne diseases, despite over 500,000 refugees spread across the region, the crisis remains the most underfunded in the world. In 2017, UNHCR and other partners appealed for 209 million US dollars, but have received only 9% of funds needed so far. In Mali, about 100 young people have taken part in a festival celebrating music, dance and theater led by local and international artists. The idea, they say, is to promote a culture of peace by teaching artistic skills. Local and international artists came together in Bamako to be part of the second edition of the annual Nomadic Equations Festival, which celebrates various creative disciplines across West Africa. The annual event sees artists and youth from Morocco, Mali and France converge to promote peace and diversity through culture and art. This year, participants took part in workshops to learn more about music, photography, theatre, dance, sewing and video production, among other fields. I joined this workshop to learn something and to gain something for my future. This is a big chance for me and an opportunity I will not find in the North. You see, nowadays a lot of young people take up arms and join violent groups just because they have nothing to do. If you give them a chance to do something useful, it will solve the problem. The event is financed and organized by the UN's cultural agency, UNESCO, and other partners. Yes. The youth should benefit from education because they have very little access to the concerts and cultural shows and they should get educated by enforcing intellectual dialogue in between the communities but also in between the different regions which is rarely done and it's a great opportunity to enforce this. It seeks to develop their mental vigor and openness. Likewise, we are trying to find a perspective on how to follow up on the various skills they have already acquired. The six-day event, which attracted about 100 people, gave Malian artists an opportunity to express themselves freely, showing off their musical talent. Since Islamist militants seized control of Mali's north following a military coup in March 2012, the country has been convulsed by conflict. Its musical community, whose singers and players have won worldwide acclaim, have been targets by the hardline Islamists bent on imposing Sharia or Islamic law.
The Academy Awards, also known as the Oscars, announced nominations for this year's, uh, yeah, for this year yesterday, and Kenya's film Watu Wate is a nominee. The short film premiered in Nairobi just a few hours after it was announced, a nominee for Best Live Action Short Film category. The film is a joint German and Kenyan production based on a true story of a 2015 attack by Somalia Al-Qaeda-linked group Al-Shabaab on a bus heading to Mandera from Gavita that was followed by Muslim passengers who refused to comply with the attackers' demands to separate the Muslims from the Christians. It's a short film we shot in um, 2016 in Kenya. And now we're back to showing the film and we just heard that we got nominated for the Oscars. That's just crazy. It just shows that, that we have stories here that we can tell, that the world is interested in. And um, as much as the, 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 the seed of that story was not good because a lot of people, some people lost their lives, some people, you know, got hurt. Um, but I think it's, it's a celebration of their lives and it's a celebration of our unity and the things we can do together. I feel honored, one, that um, we were able to tell this very uh, important story, especially in this time in the history of our country and in the history of our world where there's so much animosity between everybody's looking for something to divide us. But there are more things that bring us together than divide us. So I'm just honored I could be part of the team that told this particular story. And I hope everyone gets a chance to see it. Congratulations to the winners there. And that's our program today. Thank you for watching. I am VC Adebayo. In our world, champions are made, Nigeria and we celebrate them. The Watch the making right here on Channel Sports. Channel Sports, only on Channel's television. Day and night, we are on the road, following...